Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will be testing two black and white films from Street Candy. The first film that I got to test was MTN 100. This is a black and white 100 ISO film uh, that uh, supposed to give cinematic feel and uh, produce very fine grain on the photos. Uh, this film uh, was inspired by classic silver screen look and was produced uh, by German film manufacturer that used to create motion picture film. The film comes in plastic canister, there is no DX code. To test it out, I decided to do a portrait shoot. On this shoot, I created two different light scenarios. For my camera, I have used my Fujika ST701. At that time, that camera was kind of broken, and I didn't know that, and half of the roll of this film turned out blank. On that shoot, I have also had some troubles with correct metering. I do not know why. Mm, anyways. So for the first light setup, I went with big softbox umbrella to create this nice and soft light. For my second light scenario, I went with continuous light uh, and Fresnel lens attachment. I was trying to play around with different shapes and such, and also I was experimenting with longer exposures and some camera movements. The problem with longer exposure uh, images is you have to take a lot of them and see what works. Uh, I would say majority of my shots were just meh, but I did get a few good ones, so I will take it. I do like these images, I think they are pretty, and I do like the contrast and the grain. It's very interesting how on Street Candy website it says that this film uh, has a fine grain, by looking at my results, I do not agree with that. My photos look pretty grainy, and the grain structure is not fine if comparing with some other film stocks, for example. I have tried to make darkroom prints from this particular film roll, and it was extremely easy to see the grain when um, darkroom printing, so that is a good thing. For this darkroom print, uh, I have used uh, Ilford multi-grade RC paper in pearl, intrepid and larger, and uh, contrast filter number four to get a little bit more contrast from the negative. Now let's move on into uh, Street Candy ATM uh, 400. Uh, this one is 400 ISO black and white film. This is supposed to be the film that was used in surveillance cameras. This film is supposed to have a wide dynamic range, higher contrast, and soft grain structure. I have tested this film by doing another uh, portrait shoot. Uh, for this one, I have also used a big softbox umbrella and a flash. I have metered this film at uh, ISO 400. Now, as I'm looking at my results, I see this film is super grainy. Uh, the grain doesn't look like it belongs to 400 ISO film. To me, it's more of an ISO 800 or even 1600 film look. This is just my observation. By the way, both of these films were developed in Rodinal. Anyways, uh, back to ATM 400. To me personally, this film looks a little bit similar to HP5, uh, which I'm not a huge fan of. By looking at my photos, I definitely don't see high contrast. Uh, this film looks a little bit too flat to my taste. Maybe this is due to me using the softbox umbrella light. Maybe it's because of my development and maybe Rodinal is not the best option to develop a street candy film. I don't know. I have also tried to print this film and I have made two prints. For this one I have used the same Ilford multi-grade RC paper in pearl and I had to use contrast filter number four. To my taste, this photo is still on the more flat side. This one was made on very old Kodak paper. It actually expired 48 years ago and 
it just blows my mind that this paper still works so well. This paper has glossy finish if comparing with Ilford. After I developed both of these films, uh, I have noticed that ATM 400 actually is extremely curvy. If comparing with MTN 100, it was a little bit harder to scan. So these were my results with uh, Street Candy ATM 400 and MTN 100 film. Let me know in the comments if you shot any of these films and what was your development process, which developer did you use? Whether you got similar results to mine or you got completely different results with finer grain and higher contrast. Thanks for watching this video and see you in another one.